After riding as far north and west as we could go in Bellingham, it was time to start making our way back across the country. Instead of driving down to 90 to go across Washington, we opted to take Route 20 through the North Cascades. It was the most scenic drive on the trip and led to one of my favorite campsites next to a glacial fed creek. We had one more ride planned outside Bozeman, Montana, and it was a doozy. The Banktail Divide Trail is a multi-use trail built in 2003 that has some great views of the surrounding mountains and ends up being a 29 mile loop with 4,000 feet of climbing. After the road ride to the trailhead, we were greeted with relentless switchbacks and probably the hardest climb on the trip. The views up there were July wildflowers in the foreground with snow-capped peaks as the backdrop. Pretty spectacular, but almost commonplace on this trip by now. The first real descent had us on smooth hard pack with some loose sand and rocks thrown in. There were no sudden gradient changes on this ride and you could just coast at high speeds until you hit the next switchback. After a climb that difficult, I was hoping for some equally difficult terrain to conquer. But that's not the point of this trail. You're covering a lot of elevation, miles, and terrain, and just cruising along. bikes making all kinds of hellacious sounds from the abuse they would taken and our bodies pushed further on a bike than ever before, we had completed the last ride. That's the trip. 
During the trip, we evaluated our experience at the 11 destinations based on four metrics. Accommodations, food, scenery, and of course the riding. These were all very subjective based on where we stayed, ate, and rode. The two locations that scored a 10 on riding were no surprise, Moab and Bellingham. Yet neither received first in the overall score. It was Santa Cruz and Park City tied for first with 36 out of 40 points. This trip opened my eyes to what is out there in the country if you just do a little planning and start driving. I got a sense for just how big everything is out west and how beautiful the landscape can be. There's no better way to see it than behind a handlebar on world-class single track. This trip was just the start of my exploring of North America on a mountain bike, so stay tuned for even more of the top biking destinations. I hope you've enjoyed following this trip and are maybe even planning one of your own. If you haven't already, check out the rest of the ride videos from this playlist. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.